Good morning. Hello. Guten Tag. Guten Morgen. Guten Tag. Another one we didn't look today. Thanks, Barrow. I didn't fix my hair we uh, would like today to touch a few points quickly and it's um, going through the deals that we have because we haven't met last week Aneta sale 1,825,000 Villa in La Quinta and it's going to be completion in the end after back and forth 25th of March right? We can buy next week about 16 investing objects, renovation objects. At least 16, maybe even more, we are ready to buy. Obviously, you know what we are looking for. It needs to be a good location. Either walking distance to amenities, either La Quinta, but then we need to have views. Very important to have the LPO. We don't really want to buy properties without the LPO. It's a bit different when it's about villas. The, vi the villas are not so worried about the LPO. No, exactly. <coughs> Only apartments. That's what I'm saying. If it's villas, there we can make exceptions if it's no LPO. Simon has a client who is looking in uh, to buy Aloha Gardens, but not only, like four or five units. So let's hunt and let's really look for um, this kind of project. We should probably take two days. Mm. Uh, Thursday, Friday, for example, and just schedule the days to go see whatever you guys found now. And then it's easy to, um, you know, this one is for NFD, for example, we want to push it here, this one we sell, this one, you know, yeah. then we can, then we know. And we can do some kind of calculation for all of them, because uh, this is what we usually do. When we have this many buyers, we take two days and we just go out and see it. And uh, usually, like, we could buy six properties in that one day. It happened. All right, so this is Villa Botan. Okay, let me pitch this now for you guys. So you know, because everything is done. Okay, so start with the kitchen. It's all in oak. This one is fixed. Those two you can open, and in here you have a little room. Um, staircase is floating, uh, trees underneath. Uh, real trees with water exit going leading you out. This stone goes around all this wall and also on the outside. Pool area, here is uh, one more entrance and one entrance on the upside, but here you can bring your guests. So they come in, this, uh, this walk path they are coming in. For sure it's 2.2, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It can't be, it can't be less. Yeah, I think we should already raise. Yeah. <laughs> Let's say it is there finished. It's a sunny day, 25 degrees, you bring your clients and it looks like this. You wouldn't be ashamed saying 3 million asking. No. No, not when it's finished. Exactly. That's what I mean. So if they buy it for 2.2 now, they're already doing a great deal. This is why we're not selling it, so it's 2.5. Yeah, but let's uh, let's just let us please just finalize it 100%. Yeah. So we can send it out. So we don't yeah. need to send you another one. And you know, yeah. it's better to have it 100% done, and then you will not have any questions. Welcome, guys. Uh, we are here at the Norma Frank office. Uh, we just finalized our team meeting and now we're here to actually uh, explain a little bit about what we do and some questions that you uh, guys had yeah we had we had a few requests uh, about me personally uh, since i am the one most active in the blog we're trying to involve the whole company but it's been mostly me lately uh, but uh, the question we had uh, was how i got here and how i uh, started to work in Spain and in real estate in general and to make a long story short I am uh, from Sweden like uh, most of you already know probably and I got into snowboarding very early in my life so I started when I was eight and I got into it uh, snowboarding and skateboarding and um, when I was about 13 uh, 12 13 I decided to actually go for it and try to become a professional uh, I won the Swedish tour and uh, Swedish championship when I was 14 in that uh, 
in that year and the year after I moved uh, to the north part of Sweden to a snowboard school where I studied for four years and when I was done there I had my first professional contract with uh, Quicksilver and I was in the Swedish national team and I started to travel the world basically. Did a little hike, found this pocket, shadow landing, snow is still good. So uh, I'm gonna go single mission on this jump here. And when I was 20, I won a big snowboard contest in Europe called the uh, European Open. And from there I got my real uh, professional contract and I uh, was a professional snowboarder from that day. And I was doing that for, uh, for 10 years. So that is my, uh, my background, uh, how I started snowboarding. And uh, during this time, I started to invest a little bit in real estate. I bought some land, I built a house. Uh, together with my father, I bought my first apartment, did renovations, and I got into that. So when I when I got you know a bit too old for snowboarding, when I couldn't keep up with the new kids, it was pretty natural way to to lean into the real estate uh, you know real estate market because I that was the only thing I knew basically. And then I met my wife, and we were in this position where you're like in between things in life and. Uh, we decided to actually just come down to Spain for six months to relax and enjoy our newborn son and just spend some time together. But it ended up then uh, with me starting to work in real estate within the first weeks. And this was uh, almost six years ago. So we, uh, we got stuck here in Spain, in Marbella. We really loved it when we came here. And I always had a goal in my life, especially during my snowboard years and my younger days that I, or at one point in life, I wanted to live by the palm trees and by the sun because I had so much winter and snow around me all the time. And uh, I wanted to work in real estate and I wanted to have my own firm and I wanted to work in sales and developments and this is what we're doing now. So that's my uh, story real, real quick uh, with the big, uh, big pencil. Uh, but what we had the most um, requests about, not only on YouTube, it's been on Instagram and uh, Facebook and a little bit everywhere, it's uh, regarding our, uh, our projects that we do. Because we do all our projects with, uh, with different investors. And uh, you have asked us how to invest with us, how it works, how can we do it, how can we be part of it. And um, it's pretty simple actually. In this company we have uh, we have the full package, we have the, the purchase part of everything and we have the sale, sale part and we have the full construction part with, with architects and builders and designers. We are here to work and other people around the world has, uh, has the money. So uh, if you want to invest, you can come in as an investor and we find uh, a property for us to do together. Uh, the investor comes with the capital they actually, they're actually the owners of the property as well. We are not the owners. They start their own Spanish SL, which is a Spanish company, and they buy this property. And we have a separate contract uh, between us where we divide uh, the profit once the project is sold. So uh, we are not uh, taking any profit or uh, making any money until we actually bought something, did all of the work that comes with this, uh, and actually sold it. Once the day we go to the notary and sign the documents, the investor gets paid and we get paid. Investor in this case invest uh, the money and the capital. Uh, we invest our uh, time and uh, we also take a lot of costs because we have a lot of staff in-house that are, are working with our different projects. And when it comes to the investor and the investments, it's, it's very different. I mean, some of our investor has a very low budget, some of our investor has a very high budget and uh, 
you know, any budget we are interested in because we are working with the ROI, like the return of investment. Uh, so far in NFD, since we started uh, around four and a half years ago, we have done over 40 projects finalized, done and sold. And we have, as we speak, 19 ongoing uh, deals. Uh, and we are about to buy a few more before the summer, which is our goal. So we're expanding that segment all the time. This is also why we're looking for, uh, for more investments or investors actually to, uh, to join us here in the real estate market in Marbella. With all this and you people that are watching, uh, I mean, we are a company, we are, we're trying to grow, we're trying to be better. And we're always looking for, uh, for people, good people to come and join our team. So if you are interested in working with us somehow, as uh, maybe you're a good architect, maybe you have a very good eye for design, maybe you're a good salesperson, uh, feel free to contact us because we are always hunting for, uh, for good uh, partners in, uh, into this company. Okay guys, I hope I uh, was pretty clear in this uh, short time that I had to explain our company and how we work. Uh, but like I said, just contact us uh, if you want more information or more specific information. We will gladly have a conversation with you regarding this. Uh, next time, I don't know what we're going to do next time, uh, but it's been very, very bad weather in Spain uh, the past uh, days. So it's been a lot of rain. This is also why we take this opportunity to be in the office and just talk a little bit. Uh, but take care and uh, we'll see you next time. You guys have a good day. Hasta luego.